In today's Shrade Saturday video, we're going to take a look at what are my three favorite Shrade machetes so far. Here's a look at the handles. Can you tell which blades they go to? We're going to find that out and probably double check the balance on these things coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, as I'm sure you're aware, the folks at Shrade have been kind enough to send me a whole bunch of knives and axes and machetes and stuff over the last couple of years so I can show them to you. And so I started this Shrade Saturday feature. Um, I've actually had a lot of comments lately wanting to know why I do so many Shrade reviews. So we may talk about that as we go, but one thing that I also get a lot of requests for is what are some of my favorite, you know, favorite this or favorite that videos. So I've done a couple of favorite Shrade folders and favorite Shrade fixed blades. But I got to look and I don't think I've ever done a favorite Shrade machete video. So, to be completely transparent with you, since the video that I was planning on doing for this Shrade Saturday was a failure, and what that was by the way, I was attempting to convert a Shrade push button lock folding knife into an automatic knife. And, well, that would probably fall under the category of a fail video. So, if you want to see that, leave some comments below. If I get enough people want to see it, I'll go ahead and, and you know, shoot an ending to that because it did not turn out well. So what I've got for you today are my three favorite Shrade machetes so far that I've had the opportunity to review. And I think I reviewed most of them. And I'm sure, as you can already tell, way more rambling than you probably want to hear. But I'll do my best, but no promises on the rambling. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put links to all the uh, previous detailed reviews of each of these machetes right up here in the corner. And if you see a little, a little circle that pops up like right up here, basically if you put your mouse over that, it'll pull out a little, a little thing will slide out. You can click on that, it'll take you to another video. And by the end of the video, when you hover over it, it'll drop down a list of all the links. So you can watch this whole video and then go back and click and watch those other ones if you so desire. Just in case you weren't sure how that little um, button up there works. And, and it is supposed to work on mobile, so if you're on a mobile device, hopefully it works for you. So anyway, enough rambling, right? Probably too much. So let's look at the first machete that I've chosen as one of my three favorites. And this is actually the most recent machete that I have reviewed from Shrade. And it is the Shrade... I'm going to read this SCH PR1 CP Parang Machete. I did a review of this one not too long ago. I really like this one. It's just got a really good feel to it. It chops like nobody's business. It is in probably the best of the chopper of all of these. But there's a close, this, this, the next one is, is kind of close. But real quickly, the specs on this thing are. It's also, by the way, just by a nose, the smallest of the three we're going to look at today because. I like big knives, right? So the blade on this is 13.68 inches. For those of you who have finally got around to adopting that metric system, it is 34.75 centimeters with an overall length of 19.6 inches, 49.78 centimeters. Weighs 22 ounces or 621.4 grams. And the price on this thing on Amazon right now at the time of this video is around 29 bucks. So not a bad deal there. And if you saw the other video, this thing chops really, really well. The sheath system it comes with is kind of a nylon Cordura style sheath and fits in there very well. And then it has the, uh, you can either use it as a Baldrick type shoulder sling sheath or you can take that off and put it on a belt. So that is the, uh, this is the, the uh, again, the SCHPR1 Parang. This is coming in at the third place slot because these are going to be pretty much in order of my preference. So this is third place and primarily because it's, it's just a little hard to check the balance on it. But but you can. And we did see that it was kind of balanced when we did the video. So anyway, that's number three. Coming in at number two is a machete that I reviewed a, a pretty good while back. and um, But I still like it. That's the SCH Bolo. Pretty different style machete with this big Bolo kind of blade on it. But... Uh, this thing, um, like all these machetes we're looking at today, is full tang. It's got a really nice, very comfortable over-molded um, handle. And it is, um, we'll talk about the specs real quick. It is a 14-inch blade. Look at that thing, man. Kind of titanium coated, which is 35.5 centimeters with a 20.2-inch overall length, or 51.2 centimeters. Weighs 27 ounces, or 766.5 grams. And this one's about 42 bucks on Amazon. Comes with a, a Baldrick style sheath. This is not, does not convert to a belt carry. 
it's it's going to be shoulder carry only it's got like a leg strap on it a couple of leg straps if you got little bitty legs um and then it actually has a pouch on on here with a sharpening stone and a little ferro rod in it and it fits in here really well does it you know nice in here now, now this thing is it's just and it's, it's it's over an eighth of an inch thick so you think this would be kind of flimsy it is really solid it feels great in your hand it's a big old monster of a blade and i really like this i am i've given away a lot of the trades that that i've gotten over the over the last couple of years to boy scouts and friends and family and stuff and i have to say though this one i just keep it because it's just really it's a uh, it's one of my favorites right so anyway that is the sc bolo we're going to take a look at the balance on this one in just a minute also so that's number three and number two so as far as my machete olympics go that's the bronze and the silver uh the gold metal is going to have to go to the uh josh wagoner designed makaira brush sword uh they named this one priscilla this is um man i just i really like this this is a very they call it a brush sword you know i'm gonna classify it as a machete because it is it's just man it is extremely very ergonomic and balanced and it's got some it, it just did a great job on all the uh on the review stuff that i did on, on the video and I'll talk about the specs real quick on this one uh this by the way it's got the longest blade but it is the lightest weight which um makes it really really uh very useful and easy to manipulate but anyway i digress it has a 16 inch blade which is 40.79 centimeters with a 22.6 inch overall length look at that 57.45 centimeters weighs 20 ounces or 566 grams and it's just like 31 bucks on amazon which i think is a very good price for this and the the sheath is a little different on this one it has a molded thermoplastic sheath so it just slides right in like so got one little uh snap closure here to hold it in place and then no belt loops here either just a shoulder strap but it does have some lashing points on it so you could you could create um pretty much whatever you want to with it but i just i this is um really just very very ergonomic just very um you know i like it it's also extremely pointy and did really well in the balance test if i remember correctly so but we're gonna kind of see if we can replicate the results of those balance tests here in just a minute but first just one little bit more bit of rambling please if you will indulge me so i've been mentioning that i do the uh the measurements on all the tools i try to do them in both uh i guess standard and metric i don't know i call it standard maybe it's imperial right um and metric and <laughs> apparently let me just say it this way apparently there are some people in this world who take their units of measurement extremely seriously and have gotten very very triggered by my um lack of proper respect for how serious a subject that is i'll leave it at that anyway so so anyway that is my top three we're not even going to go down to the stump top and do knife stuff and machete stuff i did all that in the other videos and i've probably rambled enough that this video is way too long anyway but i did notice that since i think since i've done the did the review on the bolo machete there have been major major upgrades to the uh cutting edge scientific testing facility here at the survival and purpose worldwide headquarters and i would be remiss if i did not um just double check the balance of each of these machetes at the balance orientation and rotation device back here so i want to readjust the camera see if we can get this thing calibrated and, and make sure these things have not somehow lost their balance okay we're going to start with parang and go from there maybe go with the bolo next And finally, Priscilla. Okay, well that was a quick test of what is obviously a very important 
use of a machete. <laughs> so um, just a quick look at my, my three favorite uh, Strayed machetes, uh, at least so far until they come out with something better. The, um, the Prang, the Bolo, and Priscilla. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, I will put links to all the individual reviews in the description below. Once again, thanks to the folks at Strayed for sending me all these over the years so I could show them to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a new video every Friday, a new Strayed Saturday video every Saturday, and very often random videos throughout the week. You can check out another one by clicking right here. And if you're not subscribed, I'd like to invite you to do so by clicking right down here. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.